Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Columbia Country. I'm Bob Asbury. It's great to have you along. On today's show, we travel to the Fraser Valley in southern British Columbia to fly fish for the powerful chum salmon. Also a little later today on safekeeping, we'll look at a project in western Montana to help monitor and sustain native species in their traditional spawning reaches. All this just ahead, but first our tactical sport fishing tip of the week. Welcome back. On today's show, we're fly fishing for the powerful chum salmon on the Harrison River in southern British Columbia. And with me as always, Columbia Country's field host, Carl Mann. Carl, this has got to be one of the top venues of the West for fishing. I think you're right about that, Bob. I'm looking forward to that. Chris Chesloff has got us into a lot of fish and big fish every time we've come. He really has, Carl. And Carl, for our viewers who aren't familiar with the Harrison River, we're located about 70 miles east of Vancouver, British Columbia. Carl, I'd also like to mention a special welcome and thanks to our men and women in uniform around the world that are tuning in on the Armed Forces Network. I'd like to second that, Bob. They make a lot of great sacrifices being away from their homes, and I'd like to thank them, too. Okay, Carl. Now, this is going to be something a little different, Carl, uh, going after a big, powerful chum salmon with a fly rod. It really is. I'm looking forward to it. This is probably one of the bigger fish we'll be taking on a fly rod this year, and I know these guys never give up. They fight and fight, and it's going to be fun. Ought to be a battle, Carl. Should we get out there? Always ready, Bob. Let's go for it. All right. Well, let's get out on the Harrison River now as we fly fish for chum salmon. This week on Columbia Country, we travel to the Harrison River in British Columbia to fly fish for chum salmon. We'll be fishing with Chris Cheslaw. Chris operates Blue Water Rocky Sport Fish Guiding Company in Coquitlam, British Columbia. Well, it sure is a pretty river. Being clear like this, it adds to the excitement of fishing, doesn't it? Isn't it? I mean, it's just like spot fishing. Uh, the Harrison River, we're only about 10 miles, not even 10 kilometers, I would say, downstream of Harrison Lake. It flows into the Fraser and down back down to Vancouver. Uh -huh. This is the main stem of it. Loads of fish. Oh, it is. It's just absolutely packed with fish. Everywhere. In front of us, behind us. Let's go get one. Oh, man. There he is, Chris. You got one, Carl? Oh, yeah. All oh, right on. You're the man. Oh. Good fish. Oh, that's... Oh, oh. Well, that certainly got him excited. What the heck happened there? I looked like that fish was done already. I thought it was done. I'm so, I'm back in Ray Ware, back where I started. <laughs> He's still going free. We better, we better move on this one. Holy smoke. Oh, he came oh, off. Oh, he's off. Came off. Whew. That was weird. That was oh, weird. You know what? That almost looked like your fish was coming in and it went somewhere amongst all the other fish. I don't know though that hook came out and got stuck on another fish it or felt what. Like, it almost felt like I, that. Because I, I see some bub, 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 bub bouncing around and next thing you know that thing went absolutely eight. Holy mackerel. <laughs> That's a workout. <laughs> uh, welcome to chum fishing. <laughs> That's incredible. Ah, there's one, Chris. Oh, you're the man, Carl. I don't think I've recovered from the first one yet. <laughs> That's all of, uh, what, five casts? Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> he's not running, he's staying in here. That's kind of nice for a change. That's funny, some of them make a big power run like that other one. This one's hanging tough here. Yeah. Ooh, he's thrashing down there, look at that. He's not liking this. No. I don't think he's figured out he's hooked yet. How many of these big chums come up here every year, Chris? You know what, I heard numbers anywhere from 750,000 to a million fish on, on any given year. And that's not to mention the big springs or the cohos, not to mention the sockeyes that are further up river as well. This river gets over a million fish. It's incredible. It's an awesome system. And you know, it's clear like this so you can see all these fish that's, out yeah, here. That's, that's, yeah. I mean, it's always exciting, even if they're not biting, just you, you know they're there. <laughs> yeah, you know you're fishing for something. Right. Whether you get them, it's a different story, but it's tough, tough not to get them when you get so many of them around. Whew. That is a beautiful fish right yeah. there. He ate that black. Well, he did. Look at the right size of the teeth on that thing. That's why they call them dogs. Oh, man, I got him hooked good. They're, they're barbless hooks, so it's... They're barbless? Yeah. Ah! That is There's a beautiful fish. a nice fish. Harrison chum. Well, that is one... Look how Mean deep it is. Fish. Yeah. Look at the teeth on that thing. He's got big canines on him. Let's oh, put him back. Yeah. 
You can't go swim away with his buddies. Oh, thank you very much, fish. Whoa, there he goes. There he goes. Sweet. Right There's another one. No way. Yeah. Unreal. Unbelievable. You're getting a hold of that fishing pretty quick. I'm gonna have to put the rod down just to take a break. <laughs> now you're getting a hold of this fishery. There, oh, what a sweet jump. Is that it? Is that yeah, that was him. There he is, oh look at that, did a oh. triple flip. <laughs> there he comes again, he's right in front of me. He's a big boy. Yes it is, there he goes. <laughs> what that thing a is monster. Fat. That's a big fish. That is a big, chunky fish. You know, and it was, it was like being hooked. Here, he's gonna come up again, boom. Boy, what a beautiful fish. Look at all, I didn't realize they had all those golds and yellows on them like oh, that. Oh yeah. Look how deep he is, he's bigger than my whole hand is. He's a big, nice one. Boy, I'll tell you what, that is one heavy fish. And there he goes. <laughs> I'm glad he's still hooked. <laughs> Hang on to him, Chris. Oh, I really. Wow. Well, this is the wrong hand for me, so you got to bring him in. Round two, buddy. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> Holy mackerel, I thought we had him totally whooped there. He's not done yet. I can see that. He's not too happy. Oh, man, is he tough. There he comes. Okay, I'm going to try to land One him. more time here, One Chris. More time. We're almost done. I'll let you grab him. All right, we Woo! got him, buddy. I'm glad it didn't last as long as the first fight. We got him. Boy, he is beautiful, isn't he? Look at that. Especially when the sun shines on him like that. That is and gorgeous. You can see all those markings, purples. Look at that, man. It just came purple. out just that easy. Awesome. Well, I didn't realize they had the white tips on their fins like yeah, that. Yeah, it's almost like a, like a char, right? Eh? Like a dolly yeah. or something. Rainbows have that. Yeah, true enough. Look at big teeth on him. Man, he has some teeth. That's as big What's as your finger. Yeah, <laughs> as big as my fingernail. <laughs> Let him go? Yep. Welcome back. On today's show, we're fly fishing for the powerful chum salmon on the Harrison River in southern British Columbia. Now, we're fishing with our good friend and outfitter, Chris Cheslaw. Chris operates Blue Water Rockies Sport Fish Guiding Company in the Chilliwack area. Chris, thanks a lot for taking us out one more time in your great region. Bob, as always, been my pleasure. Glad to see you guys back here again. Now, Chris, this has really been exciting, uh, catching these uh, big, powerful chum salmon on a light fly rod. Is this a sport you think that's really catching on, going after these chums with fly rods? Absolutely. I mean, we have loads and loads and loads of salmon uh, chums. Not only chums, we got four other species, and it's catching on. There's lots of uh, phenomenal fly fishing opportunities. Well, Chris, you're right there. We see everything in this river when we come up here. Now, Chris, uh, you have a, quite an operation going on. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, as you know, Bob, we fish for five different species of Pacific salmon, steelhead, sturgeon, trout, and uh, we're basically the biggest freshwater guiding outfit in uh, southwestern British Columbia. With the small groups, large corporate trips, uh, we cater to all. Well, Chris, I can attest that you definitely have a successful operation here. We've had nothing but great times up here when we come up here. Folks, if you're looking for somebody in this area, Chris is the guy to get a hold of. Well, Chris, it's been a great day so far. Shall we get back out there? Absolutely. I'm ready to get some more fish. Let's go get them. All right, well, let's get back out on the Harrison River now as we go after big chum salmon with a fly rod. You know, Chris, it's a good time to maybe show the folks that are going to book trips with you what kind of flies they need to bring with us. Okay, not a bad idea. For these chums anyways, uh, you know, we can use a lot of different patterns, some bright colors, some dull patterns. Uh, this one here is a variation of a woolly bugger, a little black one with a cone head on it, or I should say uh, dumbbell eyes. Get you down there as well. That's my favorite. This one, the black <laughs> one. Yeah, I've been producing some fish. And we got another one with some uh, crystal chenille in there, la olive, another version of a woolly bugger, a little uh, beet head on it as well. That's your favorite. That's isn't it? my favorite. <laughs> and it's been producing some fish. And then uh, if you want to go big and get some aggressive fish or get some uh, different variations of rabbit strip leeches tied up nicely with, along with some uh, cones on the heads to get them down to the right where the fish are and they seem to work as well. So, and you can get them in black, olive, uh, purple, peach, cherise, different color variations. I mean, you want to experiment and see what they're grabbing that day, but stick with these simple woolly buggers, egg sucking leeches, rabbit strip leeches, and uh, you'll do all right. I believe that. He's 
these in. Going, Carl. All right. Oh, that one's a screamer. <laughs> This one looks like a big buck there, Carl. What's that? Looks like a big buck. Does it? Yeah, I think so. I just saw him come up the top. Looks like another good Same one. thing. It's just dead drifting dead drifting, right? Yeah. yeah. I was Mend it down once and just, not even swinging, just let it float down. I got him. He's nice up, one, up right in the corner there. Nice. They are one fascinating fish. <coughs> Oh yeah. There he goes. Huh? Nice big chum. Boy, that it is. I mean, he's a little bit darker fish, but he's a clean fish. Yeah. Okay. Nice. There you go, big guy. And off he goes. <laughs> Good job. Carl level. Thanks, Carl. Oh, that was sweet. That's right fun on. to watch. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I've been doing it all day. <laughs> Well, Carl, let's see if we can give it a whirl for these sockeyes up here. We moved up from where we're fishing down for the chums, try a different species, see if we can get a sockeye or two. There's a whole bunch of them swimming in front of us. What do you say? I'm always for it, Chris. Always. always. For There's it. a pile of fish here. Oh. Every time you show me fish, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm ready if you're ready. Let's go get Fast it. strip? Uh, slow strip. Slow strip, yep. okay. Now, we don't want to go too far because we'll spook them, so we okay. got to basically cast from here past them. Okay. There's one, Chris. You got one on? I think I got my first sockeye. Right on. Have you seen him yet? No. No? Man, there's so many fish here. It doesn't feel as heavy as a chum. I don't know that I've ever taken a sockeye on a fly rod before, so. First time for everything. That's right. Good place to start, right here. No, big old chum. Big old chum, eh? Big old chum. Whoa, nice jump. We'll give him an eight or a nine on that chum. <laughs> Oh, oh, she's off. Oh, that's such a <laughs> sick feeling. I had her whooped, I thought. <laughs> Carl, I got one. What you got? I don't know, it looks like a chum, but hold, he's going in that weed bed, hold on. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's right in those weeds. Ten times as many sockeyes in here as, as chums, and we fucked four chums in the last little bit. Ooh, looks like a nice one though. Yeah, it is a nice fish. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Let's see if we could beach him right in here somewhere. That's a beauty. Yeah, beauty. A little bit of salad on his, on his face? Yeah. yeah. He's been in there eating, eating frogs in the weeds there. <laughs> Holy mackerel. A BC version of bone fishing. <laughs> and he ate that tiny little muddler. Got him? Oh, we got him. Nice. Good one, Look Carl. Look schnoz on that boy. Look at the teeth on him. I know. There's my little tiny little green muddler. Look at that. Can you believe he ate that fly? Can you just ate that tiny little muddler? Boy, a little sparse teeth. green one. All right, let him go back in yeah, there. Yeah, I think so. Chase the some away and meet his buddies. There he goes. Well, that does it for this edition of Columbia Country. For a DVD of the episode you've just seen, go online to ColumbiaCountryTV.com. Be sure to include the episode number.